Good afternoon, Gan. It's Darren from JS Media, and we're in conversation with Kurt Fletcher, blues guitarist, singer, songwriter, um, and all round good guy. How are you, Kurt? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Uh, thank you for taking the time, first of oh, all. Welcome oh, to JS Media. Um, I wanna I wanna get in and talk about your 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 new record. Yes. It's absolutely. <laughs> outstanding. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's uh you know, uh, I was sent I was sent the single, um and you know that way you get a, a song and you just think, Wow, it's taken you a bit of time to sit down and, 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 and write this thing. And you just think, no place to go. It's just a phenomenal piece of music. Oh, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's honestly, you know, you, you kind of, you, there's an album that grabs you. And I'll even go to say it's probably <laughs> my favorite album of the year. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> let, me, let me tell oh, you, <laughs> I've, 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 I've listened to loads of stuff, uh, Kurt. I've listened to lots of blues and. I, I'm just blown away, absolutely well, blown away. I appreciate that. Phenomenal. So, that means how, what's, been keeping, what's been happening? What you've been doing? Oh man, I just been, you know, just trying to stay, you know, with my spirits up and just think about, you know, the record coming out and doing little video lessons on YouTube and just doing little things to keep myself busy, you know. As uh, as Geneva's at home. Uh, close to Zurich is home. Yeah, yep, Zurich's home. right. Yeah. Okay. So you're yeah. leaving the dizzy heights of uh, America behind and coming to Switzerland? <laughs> well, I've done that maybe three, three, four years ago. So I've been over here for a little bit, you know. But yeah. my daughter's still in the U.S., so I go back, you know, often up up until now, you know, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's uh, how, how, is it, how has lockdown been for you? Um, have you have you noticed? Yeah, has it been strange? Have you have you have you yeah. have you um, embraced it? Well, yeah, you know, here it's things got back to normal a little bit faster. Here it's a little little more civilized here in Switzerland. Yeah. So, I've uh, you know, I just really did. I embraced it. I embraced lockdown. You know, I embraced it by just, you know, talking about the things that really excited me about blues guitar, you know, and doing little lessons. So that really helped a lot in listening to a lot of records. You know. Yeah. Do you have you spent any more time recording, writing or? You know, I haven't. I have to be honest with you. I haven't really, you know, spent a lot of time writing yet. But I'm sure it's gonna come. I've I've written down little ideas and things like that, but I haven't really been in the creative music mode. I've been more into just talking about the things I love more recently. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I guess you know. There's some people who like to do live streams. There's some yeah. people who like to go. I want to write some more stuff. But I yeah. think yeah. when you have an album, you know, that's that's coming out. Um, yeah. I think you concentrate on that more to, yeah. you know, to, you know, to, to push that out there, you know, and, yeah. and as I say, honestly, Kurt, it's a, it's a phenomenal record. Well, it's thank just, you so much. <laughs> it's just phenomenal. You get lost in every track because oh, so much. the, you know, the, the, the awesome tones and the riffs and the, the pickups, and the hooks are just amazing. Um, uh -huh. You. Because you know, you, 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 there's some songs or some albums from some artists that you look at and you think, yeah, yeah, it was all right, or yeah, I could listen to that. You know, yeah, you, you, you had no place to go. I had it on repeat. Oh wow! <laughs> about about six or eight times. I sat okay. with a glass. I sat with a glass of red. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and just got and just got into it, and I was oh, just so. You blown away by it i mean it must have been such a it must have been such a pleasure to make the record oh 
You know, that's funny because that song, No Place to Go, is written by me and a friend of mine, Robert Cray's bass player, Richard Cousins. Richard Cousins, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he really, it was just so easy because, you know, growing up listening to him and Robert Cray, you know, for most of my life, it was, wow, you're writing with one of your heroes and he knows exactly where you're coming from already. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, it was just, you know, and, and that must be a, a good thing for you as well that, you know, you're writing with a, a hero uh, yeah. <laughs> who who wants to come and record yeah. with you, you yeah, know? That's, that's fantastic. He, he was just really great and, you know, great stories. It's just a great, you know, inspiration just to be around, you know, and it was just great to write. Yeah. Know? You've obviously, and you've shared... You know, lots of stages, and you've been around people like another guitar legend, Joe Bonamassa. Yeah, my buddy. Yeah, you Joe know, <laughs> I, uh, I I covered the, I covered his new single about oh, maybe six eight weeks ago. Oh yeah, uh, he, he recorded it uh, at, at Abbey Road. Yeah, the one the um the Alice song is yeah. what I call it. I love that song. It's yeah. classic. They just said, yeah. "Can you, can you, can you do a review on this?" And you know, it's yeah. much the same as yourself. It's a real easy flow. You know, yeah. there's, no, yeah. there's nothing. There's there's no delicacies in it. It's just a real easy piece of music that yeah. flows. Do you know, and it's just <laughs> amazing. And, and it's just nice that you can't. You know, that you 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 can put artists together. Like, yeah. Like yeah. you know, like Savoy Brown and put and put together and think, wow, you know, yeah. that's, that's a, you know, back in those days it must have just been so cool. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, get a guitar and jam, you know, and go. One day I'm going to write a, a, a song or an album or a tune with this guy and this guy, and it yeah. must be some reason. Well, you know, that for me came late. You know, writing songs and things like that came late. So I'm really enjoying now to get up to the position to be able to feel confident enough to call up somebody and say hey you want to try and write a song together you know because i was too shy to do that before you know yeah it's been great and what what do you think gave you the confidence to do that like to well, go yeah i think my last record hold on i think that was the thing yeah. that really like okay i can put together an album of music you know by myself where i wrote most of the songs myself yeah. So that just gave me the confidence to be able to say, okay, maybe I can write a decent song and, you know, go from no, you there. Can't. You can't. Cut. Let me tell you, you can't. I have, to put it, I have to put it you can't, but it's okay. You know, if you have a little bit more practice, it'll be good. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I got to get started on it. <laughs> Time's yeah. wasting. <laughs> you know, you, you started well, but no place to go, so you can build on that. And obviously yeah. that's from a reviewer. You build on that, it's all good. And then you come back to me with yeah. some stuff. I'll say, yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's slightly better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, I'm going to try to uh, keep going. we got to make a no place to go number two already. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because I think, I think, as, it, as, as, as have you had a lot of good feedback? Yeah, it's yeah. been great. Even, even with all the things going on in the world, it's, the feedback's been great. Really great, you know. And what's the what's your plans for the next few months? Are you well, stuck in Switzerland and just chilling out, or are you? It's fun to... because Italy. I, I just done a gig in Italy uh, over the weekend this past weekend, and then I have a couple more gigs in Italy coming up at the end of August. So I've. You know, it's slowly coming around a little bit. I want to take it slow and just start to kind of, you know, play a little bit as much as I can and yeah. take it from there, you know. It, might, it must be hard, you know, like for musicians who spend a couple of months in the studio, oh, you yeah. know, with, with your musicians, you know, and doing your thing and yeah. then going, yeah, let's get this bad boy out here and let's yeah. get it to masses. And someone says, hold on a minute. Uh, yeah. We can't go anywhere. We can't well, do anything. You know, I, I you know? haven't played live in like almost five months. Wow. So, you know, I was like, wow. I was pretty rusty, but I was still happy to be out playing a little bit, you know. And how did the uh, how did the crowd react? Oh, the did crowd, they, they were just, great. You know, yeah. they, they could have had double the crowd, but it just, you know, was too many people, you know. Yeah. And that's, 
That's nice. You know, it's always good to be sold out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's only 300 to the 3,000. Even yeah, if it's 20 people, it's good to be sold out. <laughs> Absolutely. It lets, it lets people know you still like your cup. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Totally. Yeah, yeah. Let's, I'm not, there's a guy playing guitar. Yeah, he yeah. must be. It's sold yeah. out. It's 300, it must be sold out. But, you know, I think, I think that's the new norm at the moment where, yeah. you know, it's, you know, I think in Britain, uh, they're talking about no gigs until 2021. Yeah. You know, and I think that there'll be a, a massive influx of every band on the planet. Yeah. Will be then book me a tour, book me a tour, book me yeah. a tour. I think, especially in Glasgow, where I come from, Glasgow, Glasgow people love a good old rock and roll night out. Yeah. They like to get yeah. some beer. They like to get a yeah. bit rowdy. Me too. And I think <laughs> that once it kicks in, yeah, be crazy. You know, the, the industry in Scotland just now is just, much like everywhere has been crippled by yeah. venues being closed, you know, and yeah. tours being put on hold, tours yeah. being cancelled. And it must be really hard for you guys. You know, yeah. we have a, I, I'm in a very privileged position that I can listen and, and I can review music every single day. Yeah, just Absolutely. sling in your sling in your MP3 and go. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna kick back and listen to a bit of cut. Yeah, so it, it must be hard for you guys when you're itching to get out there. I know you're starting to get back, which is really good. Um, yeah, but it, it must be hard all over, you know, for everyone. Oh, absolutely, especially all of my friends in the states too. I mean, like ah, oh. states yeah. is just. I think it kind of it kind of went Europe, and Europe kind of. And I went back to normal, and I went yeah. Britain. And Britain were way behind, and they yeah. kind of went back to normal. And then it went America, and I think they have just kind of, you know, they've continued with yeah. a, a real, you know, a downward spiral of, you know, not only the, the COVID, but obviously the marches and stuff like that. Yeah, it's put yeah. a real strain on America, you know, and yeah. and probably. 80% of the world's rock acts come from America. So it must be hard for these guys to get out there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's, it's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. That's obviously why you escaped to Geneva. You're thinking, I'll get out of the way. It's easier <laughs> do, over here. <laughs> I do, like, four years ago, I fell in love and I said, I'm going to Switzerland. <laughs> was it, was it, did, you, did you go there and tour and fell in love with it? Or did it just... No, I fell in love with the lady. From uh, yeah. Switzerland, you know, Excellent. I had no idea about anything other than just, you know, following my heart. And I figured, yeah. being a musician, you can kind of live anywhere. Yeah, yeah. In a yeah, way. yeah. of course you can. As long as the airport is close, you know. Yeah. And the UK is, you know, an hour flight. In France and Germany and Italy are all, you know, within the four, three, four hour drive. So. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. You know. Absolutely, because I think it's it's nice to be central. Because yeah, absolutely, you, can, you know, you can have more gigs, you know, in Europe. Yeah, with the surrounding countries, I think, than you can in America. You yeah, know, especially you, know, part, you know, it takes eight hours to fly from Texas to to New York, or you know, yeah. hours, you know, it's a full day. And I yeah. think with Europe, you can be in some places within an hour, fifteen oh, yeah. minutes. You know, which is obviously good. And I think your brand of uh, blues. Is um, is well suited to the European market because you know Germany, France, Belgium, Holland, they love a bit of blues. They yeah, love, you know the good old fashioned blues, and they just like to to get down and and listen to some you know it's a guy because it's a I think you guys it's a craft. You know, yeah, doing blues it's it's a real craft. You, you know, to 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 make the guitar sing as you do. Oh, thank you. You know, and I think that uh, this is just going to fly off the shelves. <laughs> well, Big thank style. you. Big style. Because it's, uh, it's just a phenomenal piece of work. I really so, appreciate you, it. You get any plans to come to Britain? As soon as I can, I will. I mean, UK is one of, I feel like that's one of my home base. You know, that's kind of where I got my start, Kurt yep. Fletcher touring. So as soon as I can, I'll be over. For Hold sure. Try, try, and, try and get to Scotland. Yes, we got to work this out. We got to come, come up to Scotland. We'll we'll get a beer. 
Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm definitely up for that. Yeah, well, uh, and we'll just talk all things, yep. all things music. Yeah. Get down. I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I think that's I think that's the thing, you know, like for guys like us, we just wanna, you know, we want you guys to experience like yeah. parts of Scotland where the guys just love a good a good rock and bluesy groovy night out. Yeah, I oh, love that. It's been hard. It's been totally hard, I must admit. It's yeah. a real pleasure to talk to guys like yourself. Oh, thank get, you so much. To get the other side of what it's like, you know, to be a musician or to be yeah. uh, 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 someone who's in lockdown who can't really do a lot, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and what your perspective on it is and kind of what your take on life is through lockdown. You know, I've been, I've been in lockdown in Glasgow for 20 weeks wow 20 weeks man just like reviewing music every day ah listening to some crap guy called cup fletcher yeah i'm waking name kurt fletcher <laughs> thinking who is this dude but you know totally. it's uh it's uh, i think it's kept me sane because yeah absolutely. you know I've been, I've been involved in the music industry for probably 30 32 years wow i used yeah. to be a bodyguard i've traveled the world wow what to yeah you know i've i've been really really lucky cut yeah. up, up, stuff like that I've traveled the globe you know and wow. been with other big bands and stuff and it's just great wow. um, and you know and then to get into this reviewing because i think you're not saying that my critique will make or break an album because you wouldn't have made it otherwise but i think that when you sit with you know a couple of your friends and you go i want to yeah. put this album on what do you think yeah and, you know and i think that you get into the groove I, I i feel myself like doing a bit of moving you know when i'm when i'm sitting <laughs> listening to an album I'm like well that's pretty cool I'm that's getting amazing the through you know yeah i love fantastic. that too about music yeah oh what, what do you what do you listen to yourself do you oh, have specific at the at the moment i've been listening to i've been getting reacquainted with a lot of blues records that i listened to when i first really started getting into listening to a lot of blues so everything from bb king to robert nighthawk to you know johnny shines and just all kinds of like old older kind of blues stuff as well as you know like bobby bland and things like that just yeah. a lot of blues you know Do you do you think when you listen to stuff like that that you can, you know, you can maybe pick up a groove? Or oh a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then think, oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that. You yeah, know, I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> the other thing that's been fun too is like, you know, my girlfriend is not from the, you know, she didn't listen to blues ever in her life, you know. Yeah. So it's been fun for her to hear certain things and for her to connect to certain things, you know, because a lot of people think blues is just, you know, one thing. And she's yeah. like, wow, I like that. You know, I like, and she has a total unbiased, you know, she just likes what she likes. So yeah. it's great yeah. to yeah. hip her. Absolutely, to yeah. I mean, my my first, my first record um, yeah. was uh, Back in Black. Oh, cool. And it's 40 yeah. years old, 40 years old wow. this week, you know. Uh, wow. In Glasgow, there was a bit. There was a big rock scene in Glasgow. Yeah, uh, and there was a world famous uh, theatre called the Glasgow Apollo. Yeah, uh, super famous. Everybody played there. Everybody, you know, who was anybody played there. Uh, yeah. And the, the venue had sticky carpets. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, like Michael Jackson, you could you could lean over. They were that sticky. You're like, wow, that's just amazing. <laughs> Honest to God. Amazing. And the, the the circle when like someone like Status Quo or yeah. Queen or Kiss played, the yeah. circle was bouncing like this, and there was wow. cement coming from the side of the walls because yeah. people were, like just you know getting right into it, you know. Wow. I think as as I've got older, I've gotten older. You listen to lots of different genres. You listen to yeah. a bit of blues, a bit of soul. You get the people. You'll get into people like Nora Jones. Yeah. Day. Yep. You know, there's some new girls coming out at the moment. There's a young girl that uh, that I'm listening to quite a lot. as a girl called Ellis Bailey. Oh, yeah. I know Ellis. Yeah, for sure. She is just phenomenal. Fantastic. Yeah. Going to stuff like that and you think, yeah, it's good to have rock 
and as yeah. I say, with doing the reviewing, my inbox is probably full of about at the moment about forty or fifty wow. just rock albums. Wow. And my will say, can you review this? Can you review this? Yeah. Can you review this? Can you do an interview? There's a guy <laughs> in Switzerland. A crazy guy in Switzerland. <laughs> he's, got, he's got 25 minutes to kill. Just yeah. Talk, you know, and 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 that's really good. And you and it's lovely yeah. to talk to to different artists and get you know their view on life and kind of yeah. music and stuff. You know, and, and you know you, you just hear you like your blues and your and your and your jazz and your soul. Some yeah. people like a bit of heavy rock you know yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm being acquainted at the moment Kirk with German death metal I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with that bad boy not really but cool oh. <laughs> I like it all it's uh when I take it off I, 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 I have I have my, my my headphones yeah and I take it off and I say to my boss my god that's just giving me a sore head <laughs> What do you mean? I'm like fucking flash metal, boom, boom, you know. But yeah. the inbox comes in and it says, "Here's Els Bailey, or here's Kurt Fletcher, or here's Savoy yeah. Brown," and you think, "Yeah, it's just nice to, you know, yeah. to sit back, recharge your battery, and think yeah. a bit of normality in life, you know, a bit of blues where yeah. you just get lost, you know, yeah. and start, and you know, there's some guys about just now, like little Ben Poole. You know, yeah, Ben. He is great. You know, yeah. You know, and you've got your Sari Shaws of this world. Yeah. It's kind of think, yeah, it's, it, it, there's, there's a nice groove mm -hmm. to stuff like that, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Not like to listen to heavy metal, but yeah. Think, yeah, you know, just a little bit of grooving, glass mm -hmm. of red. Yeah. Sit back and chill and just take it easy, you know? Yeah. So, hey, what have you got going on just now? Next couple of gigs? Are you. Yeah, well, the next couple gigs are at the end of August. Um, I'm going to uh, just kind of be laying low and kind of just working on promoting their new record, you know. Yep. Doing my little YouTube videos and, you know, talking about guitar and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Might do some private lessons or something. Yeah, you know? just to keep you going. It must be hard, you know. You get up and you think you're used to... And even if you're playing, you're not playing till seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. Yeah. And you can yeah. think I'm up at, you know, eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Do you know? I'm six in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you kinda of think, well, what am I gonna do? So yeah. it must be nice to know that you're on gig day, you know, traveling yeah. a bit, you yeah. know, and then getting in and doing it for a couple of hours and then coming back and That's chillax, it. you know, which is which yeah. is cool. so I I'm gonna be doing uh, I think the playthrough on your your new album in the next day or two. Mm -hmm. I sent, I don't know if you got my review. I don't know if the, if the PR company would have sent it to you. Okay. Um, but what I want to do is if you, if you don't have it, I want to send my single review to you. Awesome. And then in a couple of days when I do the album playthrough, I'll yeah. do another review of the album. Okay. And might, it might say on the bottom, guy needs more work. <laughs> Oh, are they playing not a bad tune, but you know, <laughs> little, a little asterisk on it, cut at the bottom, yeah. <laughs> just to um, give you a couple. I'll maybe draw a little, a little matchstick man with a guitar or something like that. You know, when I put it out, heavier, yeah. heavier. <laughs> I put a couple of guys, you know, headphones on, but you know, I'm doing that, and hopefully, I'll send it to. The PR company, and awesome. hopefully they'll send it to you, and right. uh, we can have a little yeah, chat about that. Yeah, and uh, and we and hopefully hopefully I'll be able to keep in touch with you with uh, yeah. if you've got yeah. anything else new coming out. Yeah, uh, I can maybe just phone you up and abuse you. Yeah, absolutely. Up to do. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's been I don't wanna, I don't want to keep you. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting about music and stuff and things like that, Kurt. Right. It's just been really cool to meet you. Um, okay. This will be the video will be up probably tomorrow. Okay, great. Uh, it will be sent to your PR company. It will be oh. on our Jace Media website, and you can yeah. share it with people and say oh. you're talking to some mad Scottish guy who totally. <laughs> watching. I didn't understand him, but it's all good. It's oh, all. Good. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hopefully, we'll be able to keep in touch. 
And uh, yeah, for sure. if you get out to London or if you yeah. can and get to Scotland, yeah, let's hook up and get a beer and yeah, for sure, sings music. I'm into it. <laughs> super, super. This is uh, Darren from Jace Media uh, in deep conversation with Kurt Fletcher. Um, we've had a uh, pleasure talking all things music, new album, touring, uh, and we hope to catch up sometime in the near future. Absolutely. Kurt, absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thanks so much. Thanks.